we're barely past midsummer and months of warm evenings lie ahead. So why not make the most of this perfect party weather? A Bollywood bash is always a great way to go and you can also suggest that your guests wear outfits themed according to their favourite stars or movies. Along with the costumes and music, you'll need a menu to match, which is why Vani is calling lights, camera, action in the kitchen. The weather was perfect for an outdoor location, so Michelle met Vani in the garden. Today we celebrate Bollywood with a menu that promises to take our taste buds on a journey. Franchuk falls in as the exotic location and my leading lady is none other than Vani Padiachi. Michelle, welcome back. It is so lovely to see you. Yeah, you it's too. It's a Bollywood bash. I know, it's a party. <laughs> Any reason for a party and I'm here. What's on the menu today? We're going to do murk malai tikka, which is chicken marinated in cashew nut and hung yogurt. And to accompany that, I'm going to make a chili paste. Oh, that sounds divine. I'm going to leave you to it and I'll observe from the side. Okay, let me get this pot on. To start off, I'm going to add the oil in and some ginger garlic puree. I'm just going to saute that for a few seconds and then to this I'm going to add the green chilli and in goes the lovely fresh chilli. That's a lot of chilies. Why red, dry and fresh? Dried chilies, the flavour is intensified. So if you taste this, it's beautiful. It's got that lovely fruity but still chilli flavour. But then you want that real kick, you know, that punch. And that dried chilies really brings that out. So I'm going to give it a few stir. And then to that, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. I'm going to add some water to this. And this is going to cook gently for about 45, 50 minutes. And while that's cooking away, I'm going to marinate the murk malai. So now to marinate the chicken. So I'm gonna start off with some hung yogurt and a nice good dollop. And the next is the cream cheese some ground cardamom for that beautiful flavour. Cashew nuts, I've got whole cashew nuts. And then you just give it a bit of a grind. So you almost have like a cashew nut flour and a good pinch of white pepper. The next ingredient is our chicken. I've marinated the chicken last night in a ginger garlic paste and I use a ratio of 50-50 ginger, 50 garlic, and it does need a 24 hour marination. So in goes our chicken and I'm going to give that a quick stir and you'll notice that the hung yogurt and the cream cheese is a bit tight so add some cream and you know malai is a white marinade let this stand for about five minutes to marinate in there and let's have a look at our chili paste that's coming along the chilies has really cooked down to a nice mush some have already broken up nicely and so all I'm going to do is quickly blitz this and if it's a little bit too dry we can add a little bit of water to that or a touch more lemon juice. As you can see it's a beautiful thick consistency, we do not want a runny consistency. So this is perfect ready. So I'm going to now skewer the chicken. Tandoor skewer. I'm going to skewer four chicken thighs in here. If I don't have a tandoori oven, Vani, what can I use as an alternative? You can do this on a braai or even in the grill in the oven. So you set your oven on grill and just pop it under the grill for about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's well skewered and onto a platter. And then Michelle, I'm taking this off to the tandoor oven. Well, what do you think of this? Beautiful tandoor chicken, the malai. So all I'm going to do is unskewer. And now for that beautiful chili sauce. Just a nice dollop. And to finish this off, I'm gonna add some fresh coriander. Just a few sprigs and a little pinch of chaat masala. And that's our murk malai tikka with chili paste. So for our Bollywood bash, I'm going to be making us a really decadent lamb rogan josh and I'm going to serve that with aloo stuffed naan. I'm going to pop some oil in. I'm not using a lot of oil in because the cut of lamb I'm using is lamb knuckle and it's got lots of bone but it's also got a bit of fat. So I'm going to add a little bit of ginger garlic. I'm going to sweat that off. This is ready for the lamb. And all I'm going to do is seal off the lamb. And this will take about two to three minutes. 
the lamb is browning really nicely. The first spice that I'm going to be using is the garam masala. So a good pinch of that. Some Kitchen King masala. Some meat masala. And a quick stir. And if you find spices catching to the base of your pan, don't worry about it. We will fix that in a minute. A little bit of Kashmiri spice. Ground coriander, a little bit of salt. Stir. And the next ingredient is our chopped tomatoes. With the juice of the tomatoes, this will also pick up all the spices that were sticking to the bottom and bring it up. So you've got that beautiful spicy flavor. Some whole peeled tomatoes and give it a good stir and I'm going to add some water to create the gravy. I'm going to pop the lid over and this will cook for roughly an hour on medium heat. With that, I'm going to make our lamb si kebab. For my lamb kebab, I have lamb mince, which is 80% meat, 20% fat. You want that fattiness as well because that will also make that lamb kebab succulent. To start off, I'm going to put the lamb mince into a bowl. I'm going to add some onions. Garam masala, Kashmiri spice, coriander powder, cumin powder and a little bit of salt. And I'm going to mix that well in and just as I'm finished mixing all this in, I will add some fresh coriander, a nice good handful, a few good chops and in it goes. I'm going to use my hands to really get those spices worked into the lamb mince. Before I skewer, I'm going to wet my hands so the lamb mince does not stick to my hands as I skewer it onto the tandoor stick. And you're gonna make a nice long kebab. I'm going to take this off to the tandoor oven. This is smelling good. To this, I'm going to add some onion puree. So all I've done was taken some onions, red onions, deep fried it just lightly, and then put it in the blender with a touch of water just to give me the smooth golden paste. This will also give the creaminess of the lamb Rogan Josh. I'm gonna give that a gentle stir. Bollywood bash, we are coming together. The last ingredient, beautiful, rich fennel. Lid on, turn down the heat to a very gentle simmer for another half an hour, and I'm ready to plate up. And here is our cooked lamb kebab. To serve the lamb kebab, I've made some coriander yogurt dip, and then I'm going to garnish with a few chiffonades of mint. I'm going to roll that nice and tight, and to that, and the secret ingredient, chaat masala. And there we have it, lamb si kebab with coriander chutney. Let's have a look at our lamb rogan josh. Oh, that smells good. And this is actually ready to be plated. Oh, smell that. And a little bit of sauce. Just gonna put a good swirl of coriander on top. And to finish this dish, I have made some Alu stuffed naan. And there we have it. Decadent lamb rogan josh with alu stuffed naan. I'm going to start on our tomato shorba shots. All I want to do is just rough chop the tomato. In goes my tomato and you'll notice that I'm not using any oil. So I want this tomato first to caramelize a little bit with its own juices. So that brings out already the flavor of the tomatoes. Adding some tomato puree. A touch of ginger garlic. And top off, just cover the tomatoes. And then one last ingredient, a green chili, just for the spiciness of it. Gonna add a little bit of Kashmiri spice, some salt, and I'm going to leave that on for the next 20 minutes to boil away, and I'm going to start plating the Golgapa. 
It's made in little flat discs and you pop them into the deep fat fryer and once it's out, it's ready and this is what it looks like. And to fill it, you can use absolutely anything you want. To start off, I just knock out a little and squish a chickpea in, some potatoes, a little bit of tomato concasse, red onion, and that's almost ready to go. I have a jug tamarind water ready, and one final garnish, coriander. All I want is some sprigs of fresh coriander, almost finishing this dish off. And there we have it, Golgappa with tamarind water. To finish off our tomato shawba shot, I'm going to strain the tomatoes. And all I want is that beautiful tomato water flavor. And there we have it, our tomato shawba shot. Look at this spread, it's incredible. This is a spread fit for Bollywood royalty. Barney, you've outdid yourself. Thank you.